This is Okope, a town in Hokkaido, Japan. One of its main industries is dairy farming. In a year, 50,000 tons of milk are produced here, and about 11,000 dairy cows are reared. The number of cows in this municipality is about three times the number of 3,700 people. The disposal of livestock manure by dairy businesses has a real impact on the daily lives of the townspeople and on the local tourist industry. Traditionally, the manure is spread on pastures as fertilizer, causing invasive weeds to increase disproportionately. When the manure spreading takes place, it also creates an unpleasant smell. So, the town as a whole needed a better way to dispose of livestock manure. To that end, the municipality set up Okope Hoko Biogas Plant. Taking in raw material in the form of dairy cattle manure, sewage sludge, kitchen waste, and food processing residues from the municipality, this biogas plant produces digestate, a high-quality liquid fertilizer. The biogas generated by the digestate production process is used to generate electricity, which is sold to a provincial electric company under the power purchase agreement. The plant consists of a raw material tank, a large fermenter, a digestate production facility, a gas storage facility, and an electricity generation facility. As its main raw material, it receives about 40 tons of dairy cow excrement and urine per day from six local dairy farms. The excrement from the cattle sheds is collected in containers by an arm roll truck. The urine or slurry manure is transported in a vacuum truck. The manure brought to the plant is weighed on a truck scale and then fed into the raw material tank. The raw material is then fed through pipeline to the fermenter where it undergoes fermentation processing at 42 degrees Celsius for 30 days. Along with the digestate produced by anaerobic fermentation, biogas is also generated. The gas is then transferred to a gas bag for storage. Because it contains moisture and hydrogen sulfide, which could damage the equipment, the gas is dehumidified and desulfurized before being used to generate electricity. The biogas produced in this way is a clean energy source derived from biomass materials. It is made up of approximately 60% methane and 40% carbon dioxide. The whole process, from the management of fermentation to the generation of electricity is centrally controlled. It produces 540,000 cubic meters of biogas per year, which is enough to generate 1,200 megawatt hours of electricity. Compared to renewable energies, such as solar and wind power, biogas plants can produce energy in a more stable way independent of weather conditions. At present, all the electricity generated by this biogas plant is sold to a power company. However, 
The region's power grid is not robust enough to accommodate many new connections to renewable energy generation facilities. Meanwhile, the government is promoting carbon neutrality initiatives, effectively making the selling of electricity less economically attractive. So the plant needs to look at other ways of utilizing biogas. To address this problem, Okope is working on a new initiative to convert biogas into resources that the local region needs. One of those resources is the biofuel methanol. In 2018, Osaka University succeeded in synthesizing methanol from methane and air. The other resource is formic acid. The reaction provides methanol and formic acid in the same reaction. The reaction used is revolutionary in that it proceeds under ambient conditions, at room temperature and atmospheric pressure. The key innovation here is the use of photoirradiation with chlorine dioxide as a reactant. The chlorine dioxide radical was found to act as efficient oxidizing agent in the aerobic oxygenation of methane to methanol and formic acid under photoirradiation. The reaction proceeds using a two-phase system, starting out with water and an organic solvent. The reactant, chlorine dioxide, is synthesized in water and then moves to the organic solvent phase. Composed of fluorine and carbon, the organic solvent has low reactivity with other chemicals, but easily dissolves methane, oxygen, and chlorine dioxide. When these three gases are placed in a reactor and irradiated with light, a reaction occurs which converts the methane to methanol. The resulting methanol is not soluble in the organic solvent, so it moves to the aqueous phase. The aqueous solution can then be extracted to obtain the product. Let's watch an actual experiment. The light from a LED is sufficient, but of course sunlight could be used instead. You can tell that methane has been converted to methanol by the change in the color of the solution. Okope's biogas plant processes the manure of 560 dairy cows and produces 540,000 cubic meters of biogas per year. The biogas is 60% methane, the rest being carbon dioxide. If we could convert all this methane into methanol, it would work out at 80 tons per year. It would also yield 400 tons of formic acid. Scaled up to accommodate the manure from Japan's 1.35 million dairy cows, the process would yield 200,000 tons of methanol, which is 20% of the amount Japan currently imports. In other words, our process enables clean energy production without fossil fuels. Besides its use in manufacture of dairy cattle food, formic acid is also used in antifreeze for runways and other structures in cold regions and as an industrial raw material, helping to make the local economy more profitable. We envisage that in the future, formic acid will also be used as a next generation energy carrier with a higher energy density than liquid hydrogen. And this application is now under intensive development. Here you see our vision for the future. Besides producing milk, dairy cows produce manure every day. Traditionally, 
this manure has been composted and spread on pastures in Okope. Currently, however, it undergoes fermentation processing in a biogas plant, and the methane contained in the biogas is burned in a generator and converted into electricity. But even if biogas production were to be expanded further, feeding electricity into the grid is problematic, and the number of businesses generating electricity using renewable energy sources is now increasing, making it likely that the price will fall. Factors such as these have stalled the construction of new biogas facilities. An alternative use for biogas is the synthesis of methanol by the chemical conversion we propose, producing energy that can be stored and transported in the form of liquid. Methanol can be used when and where it is needed as a fuel in itself, or used to make fuel cells. Another product of the methanol production process is formic acid, which can be used as an additive in the production of silage. Carbon recycling is achieved through feeding cattle the silage. But the cycle doesn't stop there. The formic acid can be converted into hydrogen, and hydrogen is also synthesized in the production of chlorine dioxide, the reactant used in the photoreaction process. This means the whole cycle could potentially make a major contribution to the realization of a hydrogen society. What's more, the carbon dioxide obtained from the biogas after the reaction has a high degree of purity, making it suitable for use in promoting plant growth. Combined with methanol-powered heating, it could even be used to grow tropical fruit in cold climates. We envision that the practical application of our photochemical reaction could enable the local production and consumption of methanol and formic acid, helping to build the carbon-neutral, recycling-based dairy farming system shown here.